Okay, so this is where we left off yesterday. And because I have to do things in chunks because of the space of my phone. <clears throat> so this was the, the greeting card journal. And um, as you can see, I didn't finish it. I um, was getting frustrated and it had too much of my um, past life in it. And basically this is where my, I did an upside down page for some reason. This is where my marriage broke down. And so I stopped, I stopped journaling for quite a while because I had both the kids with me. And being a single mom, they take up all the time. And then when I got back into it, <clears throat> I made I made the cover for this. Like I sewed, sewed the pages down and everything. And um, it's a canvas cover, and then I painted it. And this was um, an art journal, and this is where I started exploring um, color and cheap watercolors and some stencils. Some bits and pieces and playing around with um, styles of people that I had admired getting a feel for things um, more paper collage so that that went with me through I'll just make sure you guys can see that because it's quite a big book yeah so the paper collage came with me um, and I started drawing more. Only little things at first. Self portraits were still there. This was a, um, a black and white print that I had sprayed with mist and stuff. Just playing with cutting out things and um, writing and watercolours. So it was still very basic. And this was around the time that my <clears throat> current current my fiance walked into my life and um, basically picked me up in my broken mess and basically changed mine and my kids lives basically so uh, more photographs from my desk some sprays and stuff more collage um, so just playing around with things. Um, and this is basically after I'd watched a few videos and things, I started thinking about doing my own videos. So this one was is actually on my YouTube channel, but it's done in still frame, as far as I can remember. And this is when I discovered the beautiful Christy Sobolewski, or Golf Sprite as you guys might know her. And her collage sheets and her vibrant work and um, her beautiful faces. This this took took my breath away. Her work, I watched all her videos back to back for hours because I was just amazed that a journal could be something that is so beautiful and so vibrant. So this journal is a lot about discovering that and emulating people that I've seen because that's how we learn, we, we emulate, we tinker, we explore and we try and find ourselves inside this, these sorts of things. So this is one of her um, collage pieces. There's still a little bit of writing going on, some um, scrapbook paper and bits and pieces. Um, still a lot of photography and writing. I was, you know, getting there slowly, slowly. Um, I started working with faces and trying to to draw more from back here where you saw. Where is it? Here. So there's a big, a big change between here and here. Just sort of. Getting a feel for things and using cheap a cheap watercolor palette and I I bound this journal myself. It's pretty dodgy binding to be honest. Um, playing with texture and just putting paint down on the page and having like a lot of fun with bright colors and and layering and this was actually a, 
a page inspired by Tara Ross, who's a beautiful journal keeper, and she had a picture or a print on her blog, and I loved it so much that I em I emulated stuff that she she did with the mountains and the scrapbook paper and the little character and all that sort of stuff. Playing with text and um, sprays, stencils, still scrapbooking. Um, this is actually a video on my on my page, I think. So still a lot of writing. Um, this was actually from an old journal. I don't think it's from this one. No, it's from one that never made it. It it got basically ripped up and put into my box down below me, where all my bits and pieces are to bring out. So this was one of my first faces that I had done in Susie Blue's course. And um, sprays and inks and stuff like that. Washi tape. Just finding my feet. Um, this this one is fra inspired by a picture that Tam did on her blog. So that's sort of th that's what I would do. I would I would try and emulate people that I was completely inspired by and to get a feel for things. Lots of scrapbooking and paint and stuff. This was pa paper samples from a bookbinding shop and my mum wrote me a chicken soup recipe for me because I, I always loved her chicken soup. Um, then there's this girl that I was starting to get more. Um, trying to find my own style of face, drawing more faces. A lot of practice. Just lots of colour. <clears throat> Postcards, still keeping that sort of that theme, bits and pieces. Um, as you can see, my girls are slowly honing in and, and you're getting more confidence with the more you draw, you, you find the things that work for you and things that, you know, don't work for you. And um, playing with watercolours and gesso and stamps. And there was this girl. I think there's... Um, there's a tech stamp all in the background, a lot of sprays with that glimmery stuff in, which I now really don't like. I'm not a big fan of the sprays with glimmer. Um, not sure why. I'm just not a not a big fan anymore. So yeah, the, as you can see, my book is coming apart. I did a dodgy job binding it, but it's okay. It's all good. So playing around with <clears throat> things that I already had. As you can see, you can see those those circle stencils used like everywhere because I didn't have very many supplies, so I just kept using and reusing the same things over and over again. There's this girl, which is one of my most watched videos on YouTube, actually, this spread. It's like 45,000 hits or something like that. It's crazy. So this was done on, on a... Um, an old letter from a girlfriend and I painted her over in scrapbook paper and everything so I was getting more confident with drawing my own faces from my own imagination and um, trying to find out what worked best for me and trying to find my style in amongst it all so there's a big jump between between this one and my card journal to this one but that was because of all the stuff that I had watched and I wanted to try and I was getting there and my colored pencils and slowly I was getting supplies I was saving up for them all that sort of thing stamps in the background um, stencils this was this girl here with bright colored hair and my dad actually drew this no idea what it is, but I liked it so much that I had put it into my into my art journal. So still collecting bits and pieces. Um, this was uh, I was trying to draw my daughter, which failed dismally. <clears throat> but you still have to, you know, give stuff a go and have have a try. So I painted her in. There's a big piece of paper here so you can see the distinction between the paper and the top part of her face 
there's those circles again. Um, more of more of the same, really. Lots of sprays and ink and and Christie's one of Christie's collage bits, another one of her collages. So I was just I was just exploring and having fun making the backgrounds and trying to put um, something on there that was mine and text, which I don't do much much text anymore. I should draw that. Um, trying, oh, I think this was for a class from memory. Um, so I started using watercolors and this was when I was visiting Sydney to discover if, if I wanted to bring the kids here or, or what. So I, we went, we took the kids from Inverell, a little country town to Sydney and stayed with my partner and tried to work out whether the kids would be happy in Sydney or not. So I remember, I remember doing this at his, at his table and getting more bold in my in my faces and trying to do things differently and trying to find my own my own feel to a face playing with my watercolors I think I basically only took my watercolors and some sprays with me or I might have pre-sprayed things before I left as you can see the book is just holding together um, this was a tam face that I really really adored so I tried to emulate her her one of her pictures and the almost there is it's almost time to move to Sydney we decided that the kids would be happy there would be happier as a family in the one place and took quite a lot of months um, this is some um, of Samantha Kira's work. There was a picture on Flickr that I saw and I adored it. So I tried to draw it. It looks, not, it, it looks a lot like what she did. I used Sharpie markers and all that sort of thing. And there's this little um, bumblebee girl done with pencils and, and watercolours on, on another letter. So I was starting to work out shading techniques. Once you do a lot of faces, it, it slowly comes in. Um, this was a book that I drew that I really liked the look of and that I wanted I wanted to learn bookbinding and this is my kids obviously and I think there's a little bit of Juliet Crane's girls that I really liked the look of and her cute little bears and owls and things um, faces that I didn't quite finish and this was an art geeks prompt for hair from memory and I think that's it for this one. Just notes in the back. Books that I wanted to get. Um, when we would go out and look. So this is this one. And then after this one came this little one here that I, I made the cover again. And this was the, um, the start of... The thirty the thirty days journal with Christy. So I made a I made a journal just just for that. So I started trying to draw more and um, get more layers in and work on my shading. Shading was a big thing for me. So I started. I, this this one was. These were done in Sydney from memory. I think some of them were anyway. So I was trying to. Um, get my eyes right and the lips right using a lot of color and borders and um, this is where the red flowers came in from and the sewing of the page down here um, this was where I first learnt the red flowers that you see in my work how I've changed them a lot so they're just very simplified in some of my in some of my pages and the lilies page um, oh, sticky, 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 and the flowers from the golf sprite course. I never got this one done. I, I had so much trouble with the leaf, the leaf one. So I just, I just, meh. And this was the start of my Jane Davenport course. So I started um, trying to make bright my own stamp on things 
bright colours and working between Jane's course and Christy's course and um, making inserts and flowers and things. I loved working with the... I'm not quite sure what it's called now, but it, it made things sink into the background. You could still see them and it made the colours really vibrant. And a puddle forest. I, I really love the puddle forest. So, and then uh, an article about a girl who basically gave up her job and now sells her art to pay her rent. So she sells enough artwork to get her rent paid and all that sort of stuff. I started doing my Jane course with all my faces, trying to learn, learn more bodies and faces. Oh, another sticky page. So this was a, another golf sprite one. So I was doing two courses at the same time. And this was a, a Jane page. I actually have this, this one on a little business card because I liked it so much. So playing with paper and paper doilies and drawing. Finally getting a, <clears throat> a little feel for my own style. <coughs> Stuff that didn't get finished. Um, playing with some colours. Um, working on, on better faces and more shading. Using my Prismacolor pencils. My kids scribbling. And these girls... Um, I had a blast in that course. That was the Supplies Me class, I think it was. Yeah. And Christy's um, 30 Days of Journaling, which I think is about to end, but she's just released another one, which I haven't done yet. It's the 30 pages in 90 days, and I've heard great things about that. So this is how I learnt. I slowly did classes. I saved up for them. I asked for them for my birthday, and I, and I learnt you're always continually learning and then after this one is um, this little one here which is upside down um, didn't get didn't get finished because I moved on to my big sewing book I think stop check that's in frame here yeah. so still a lot of self portraits I'm always gonna have self portraits um, play, doing my <clears throat> supplies me homework and um, Copic markers and this is this is where I felt the most growth <coughs> in my work and um, finally feeling my own style come through this is one of my favorite pages with the dear girl and our little house number was our little unit number was number 13 <clears throat> Excuse my voice, guys. Um, still a, lot, a little bit of writing coming through and, and um, little pen and ink drawings. Getting more excited about stuff. Using <clears throat> excuse me, crazy colours um, for faces and little, little flowers. No. <laughs> This girl turned out so wrong, but I just left her because, you know, not everything's going to be a masterpiece, is it? Um, emulating Jane's face, which is what she asked us to do. If we were too scared to do our own face, then we just copy exactly what she did and start going from there. Because as you do it over and over, you're going to change things. Uh, working on three-quarter faces and clear gesso. Um slowly getting there um, this was uh, all done in paint and it's very dark but it's still one of my very favorites and this was me waiting to move to Sydney and it was just taking forever I felt like nothing was going right so <clears throat> my art got really dark because I was really sad and and um, a lot of my art reflects how I'm feeling, working on bodies, a, th a three-quarter turned face, which this is one of all my journals coming apart. One of my favorite faces that I have done to date. Um, this girl with the, um, 
some Tisha Moore stamps and some flowers and three quarter face. I started finding my favorite color palette, which you actually see in my, in my other journals. I use these color combinations a lot. Um, Trust the mess, <clears throat> which was uh, the last thing I did in I Heart Drawing. And uh, not I Heart Drawing, supplies me. I, I was trying, <coughs> excuse me, I was trying the, the three quarter face a lot because it was so hard and sometimes I'd get the proportions dead on, where is that bad girl, like this, and then sometimes I would fail it up and she'd be all mongy, but that's okay, I was fine, just kept practicing. And this was just before we moved and I was so, I think I was so stressed out so much to do I had so much to clear out and I just had to tell myself to slow down and this was a picture of um, a website or something it's not mine um, I tried to make the same the same girl here but in marker and to see the differences um, another marker girl and self-portrait and this was trying to do the bigger bodies and I have so much trouble. I have to rewatch those. So much trouble with bodies. I have to rewatch Jane's work so much to try and get my, I still can't do bodies. And it's like switch turns off and I go all silly. And I think that might be, yeah, the last, last little bit in there. Let's just 